Happy Christmas, my friends, uh, and thanks for joining me again. I hope you're well. My name is Josh Palmer, and I'm the pastor here at Melchon Baptist Church. Happy Christmas. I hope you're enjoying your time. But also, I hope and I pray that you're keeping in mind what is today all about? What is the meaning of Christmas? And I hope and I pray that as you spend some time together, as we spend some time together, that we will see the real meaning of Christmas and remember that. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. Let's just um, light a candle 
uh, a Christ candle today. Now let's pray together. Dear Lord, don't let us miss you this Christmas season. Help us to simplify our activities and traditions so that we can focus our celebration on your birth. Thank you for being the Prince of Peace. And I pray, Lord, please may your supernatural peace reign in our hearts. Thank you for the simple but life-changing message of your love for us. So we ask this in your holy and precious name. Amen. So friends, today as part of our family service, um, I will be doing a talk on a sketchboard. So you'll be taking, that, taking over to that video um, in, in a second. But before that, I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that it speaks to you. And may God bless you richly. It's my honour and privilege to share with you uh, a Christmas message. And the way that I'll be doing it is by using my sketchboard. Well, if you've not seen this before, the way it works is I'm going to draw some lines in these boxes and some words are going to appear. So you're going to try and guess what words are going to appear. But hopefully by the end, the whole board should be covered with some words and also the meaning of Christmas for us. So I wonder if any of you can actually tell me what's coming up really, really soon. Well, let me let me try and paint any. You, you can probably yell in your class telling me whether I painted it right or wrong. Okay, let's have a look. C H R I S T M A S. What's coming up? Christmas. Yes, Christmas is coming up, boys and girls. I, I wonder if you're excited. Well, I am excited and I'm really looking forward to that day. So when we talk about Christmas, what comes to your mind? I probably can guess something. Well, let me just paint that and you can nod your heads and tell me if I've painted it right or not. Okay. That's P R E S E N and then last one T present present that's what comes to your mind possibly well, I want to tell you something about a Christmas present, which is the best present that we could ever have. I don't know about you, but um, when I was when I was young, I I used to get up really really early, possibly around four o'clock in the morning, and run to my parents' bedroom to try and wake them up and say, "Is this Christmas now? Can I have my presents, please, please, please?" And mostly, I was sent back to bed because it was too early to to do any presents then. Um, do you do that? Do you get up at silly o'clock to get down, see what you've got, wake your parents up and say, wake up, it's Christmas morning at four o'clock in the morning? Or is it just me? Possibly just me. So have you received any presents yet? Presents are possibly under your Christmas tree that you might have kind of tried to poke and have a look into, tearing the end bits off to just see what's in there. I want to find out. Well, when you get a present, there's something that is quite important to know about it. Let me tell you what. It's important to find out W, H and O. Who? It's important to find out who gave you that present. So that if you are writing thank you cards, you at least know whom to write the thank you card to, saying, thanks for my present. It's important to know who gave you that present. Something that you probably have been nagging your parents for a long time, possibly six months or so, saying, I really want that thing. It's important to know who gave you that present. 
Well, when I was growing up, I had an auntie who used to give me a toothbrush every year. And I by far knew that that was going to happen. Among other gifts, there was always a toothbrush. Possibly uh, she was trying to tell me something uh, that I'm realizing now. Uh, but um, yeah, yeah, you can laugh now. But anyways, um, have you got someone like that who gives you the same thing every, every year? Or is it just me again? So do you know who gave the very first Christmas present? You guessed it, have you? Let me paint and you can tell me whether you painted it. Well, I painted it right and you guessed it right too. G-O-D. God gave us the very first Christmas present. And that's the best present that he ever gave to each one of us. Now, when we get a present, it's important, like when we open it, we want to find out this. W-H-A. We open it frantically to find out what is in it. What's in my present? So the question for us is, what was the very first Christmas gift that God gave us? The very first Christmas present that God gave us was J E S U and S. The very first Christmas present that we were been given was Jesus. That present was from God. But the question that we need to ask is W H Why? Why did he give us the very first Christmas present of Jesus? The very first Christmas present was Jesus, given to us by God. And he was a little tiny baby in a manger uh, at Bethlehem. Now, isn't that strange? Like, when you come downstairs by your Christmas tree, you wouldn't find a baby there. So the question that we are asking is, why did God give us the very first Christmas present of Jesus? The question of why. When someone gives you a present, a Christmas present, and if it's uh, something like uh, a soap or a deodorant, you, you ask questions, what are they trying to tell? What are they trying to tell me? Do I smell that bad? What's, what's, what have they given me that? Now let's think, when you're shopping for, some, for a Christmas present uh, for someone whom you love, you would take some time to think about what they really like, what they, what they would want. That's exactly what God was doing there when he gave us Jesus as a present. And that present was to give us and for, for us to find a way to this place. Let me, let me um, draw that in, paint that in, and you can then tell me if you guessed it right or not. H E A V E N Heaven. God gave us the very first Christmas present of Jesus so that we could then find a way to go to heaven. Do you know why he had to give us that present? Well, let me tell you a little bit about that. Well, I call it the eye disease. The eye disease. Not this eye disease, but this eye disease. I want this. I want that. And I want it now. I'm pretty sure you might have said that at some point in your life. Well, I have. I remember saying it a few times. Well, that eye disease that we have can create a barrier between us and God. And that barrier can sometimes stop us from having the best that God wants us to have. God looked at that problem and thought, what am I going to do about that? Well, I'm going to give them a present. A present for you and for me. And that present, boys and girls, was Jesus. Jesus came into this world. 
he lived a life and then he actually died on a cross. He died on the cross for the wrong things that we have done and said. So that when we say sorry, he wants to forgive us. He wants to give us another chance. But he didn't stay dead, boys and girls. Three days later, Jesus rose from the dead. That's why I'm going to draw an arrow there. That's to show that he's in heaven. Jesus rose from the dead. He's alive today. And that's why we can have an amazing relationship with him if we choose to follow him. But in order to do that, in order to choose Jesus, we need to do something really, really important. And that is, we need to R-E-C-E-I-V-E. -E -E. We need to receive that amazing present that God has given to each one of us. And that is Jesus. So I hope and I pray that this Christmas time, when you are celebrating, you will also remember the true meaning of Christmas is the greatest present that God has given us, his son, Jesus. Let's together celebrate him and enjoy our time together. May God bless you all and keep you safe. Now, before I go, I'm just going to say, a quick prayer. So we're going to do a prayer drill. This is what we do at Melchon Baptist Church. So we're going to tickle our shoulders. So everyone tickle your shoulders. I'm going to come in the middle. Okay. So the count of one, you throw your arms in front. Two, you fold them. Three, you bow your heads. And I'll say a quick prayer. It's just so that we don't get distracted. Okay. Let's do this. Everyone tickle your shoulders. Ready? Number one. Oh, too slow. Tickle your shoulders again. Shake your shoulders. Get ready. Number, I didn't say one, number, number one, number two, and bow your heads for number three. Father God, thank you so much for giving us this amazing present of Jesus. May we remember this, this Christmas, keep us all safe, and help us all to know and receive your true love and this amazing present in our lives. We ask this in your holy and precious name. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining me again and I hope that you all have a lovely Christmas. May God bless you. Take care. Bye. I hope and I pray that you enjoyed that. Uh, but let's just bow our heads and pray together. Father God, we want to thank you and praise you for who you are. Thank you so much for sending your son, Jesus, into this world. Thank you. That was part of your plan. And we praise you for that. And we pray, Lord Jesus, that as we remember your birth today, may we be filled with expectation to receive more of your grace and love from the abundance that you have. Loving Father, help us remember the birth of Jesus, that we may share in the song of the angels, the gladness of the shepherds, and the worship of the wise men. Close the door of hate and open the door of love all over the world. Let kindness come with every gift and good desires, with every greeting. Deliver us from evil by the blessing which Christ brings. And teach us to be merry with clear hearts. May the Christmas morning make us happy to be your children. And the Christmas evening bring us our beds with grateful thoughts, forgiving and forgiven. We ask this in Jesus' holy and precious name. Amen. I would like to say a blessing. Um, so with the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the Magi, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child, be yours this Christmas. May God bless you. May he keep you safe. Have a wonderful Christmas. And thanks for joining me again. God bless you. Take care.